The year is 2007. I'm 16 years old. This is my last year in high school. Up to this point in my life, I've always kept a fresh low cut, with the exception of the few times that I decided to grow my hair out. And I always ended up giving up because I never thought that my afro was ever going to get long enough to get braids like Allen Iverson. So I stuck with the shortcut and kept my waves on point. But as time progressed through high school, Lil Wayne and T-Pain became the hottest dudes on the planet. It got so bad to the point that girls pretty much found any dude with dreads attractive. I mean like dude could be black as fuck cross-eyed if the nigga had dreads bitches would be like oh my god he got dreads he's so fine oh my god i'm like man i'm sick of it if this is the kind of reaction these niggas is getting i'm fixing to grow me some dreads so this year i decided i was gonna grow my hair and i wasn't gonna cut it off this time the struggle was real like it was every time i grew my hair but i was determined this time I spent the year playing around with my hair, plaiting it up by myself until it was long enough to get some braids. Finally got some braids. A few months after graduation, it was time. I found a loctician and I got my hair twisted. And I vowed to never cut my hair. This was the perfect time for me to start my dreads. I'm 17 years old, fresh out of high school, literally no bills to pay and i don't start college for at least another few months i have all the time in the world to keep up with my lock maintenance and i got all the money to spend on it because if you don't know dreadlock maintenance can be pretty expensive but it was worth it though it was worth every penny so the girl who started my dreads eventually ended up working for a hair salon called bamboo hair studio and man the vibe was just unbelievable in that place, man. It was like the most classy establishment that I had ever been to. It had this kind of African slash Negro vibe to it. And you know, you go in there, they playing some classy black music, R&B, neo soul. They had their own line of homemade, all natural dreadlock products. They was even serving a nigga wine in that motherfucker. Things were going great. My hair was finally starting to get that length that I always desired. I was putting hundreds of dollars into my maintenance schedule, getting my hair twisted every two weeks. About a year into it, I was finally able to quit my miserable ass job at McDonald's and start working for my miserable job at FedEx. It was cool though, because I was making a little bit of money. But as I progressed further along through college, and I'm coming up on my first associate's degree, I'm thinking it's time to change some things. Because I never wanted to work at FedEx in the first place. I always thought that with the good grades that I was making in high school, that I was always going to end up being one of these guys that ended up working in the office. I thought I was going to be a white-collar brother. I never thought that I was ever going to have to jump into the blue-collar fields. After vigorous job hunting, I could never get any luck. And on a few interviews that I had, it seemed like people weren't too interested in what I had to offer. My first thought is that I was being hindered by the stigma that came with having dreadlocks. So after about two years, I decided I can't do this shit no more. I don't want to work here anymore. I want to be in corporate America and I can't get in with this hair. I have to cut this hair. So I chopped the dreads off once again, back to the low cut. So now we got a whole new energy and we going right back out there looking for a white collar job. I'm filling out hella applications. After failing miserably for another few months trying to find another white collar job, I decided, okay, maybe it's not my hair. And now I regret cutting it because I really, really wanted dreads. So I decided to start growing my hair back again. This time around, I wasn't going to be able to give the patience that I did the first time because I didn't want to go through the ugly stage. So I made sure I kept my dreads and I had the girl who originally started my dreads to reattach them and she did a wonderful job. It looked like I never cut my hair. I posted pictures of my new old dreads on Facebook for everybody to see that I got my dreads back. Then here comes the baby mama. <laughs> 
I say that jokingly because she actually added me on Facebook two or three months before I reattached my dreads and she said not a word to me. She didn't say nothing to me until I reattached my dreads. Ooh, you got some pretty dreads. My baby mama is one of them type chicks that are infatuated with dread-headed niggas. The struggle was real after I got her pregnant, bruh. All that money I was spending on dreads, down the drain, bruh. My new concentration was keeping the roof over my daughter's head. My hair was the last of my fucking words. Ran off on the plug twice. Ran off on the plug twice. <laughs> He's daddy calling, I ain't calling back. He's had to diss me on the last half. <laughs> yeah, nobody heard nobody bought the last half. Nobody bought the last half. <laughs> In my few years of having dreadlocks, I actually learned how to retwist my own hair. And of course, my baby mama know how to retwist dreads too because she like niggas with dreads. I was able to keep my lock maintenance on point without having to pay for it, but it wasn't the same experience, man. Imagine you having the privilege for two, three years to go to this nice ass salon where you get treated like fucking royalty to having to sit in the living room on the floor and get your hair twisted between some woman's legs and your tailbone hurt because you've been sitting on the floor for two hours. So with that being said, I never cared to really get my hair retwisted like that so I wasn't on my lock maintenance. And it's like that to this day. But eventually my hair kept growing and kept growing and it got long as hell. I ended up working for this shady ass trucking company who put me in a truck that had no fucking AC in the middle of the damn summer. So as my dreads are long as hell and halfway down my back, they are way too hot. So I ended up cutting like seven inches off of my hair in 2018. It grew back fast as hell of course. At this point, I'm really starting to get tired of having dreads. But I've kept them for so long because it's all I know. And I don't want to regret cutting my hair like I did the first time. So I decided to try something new by bleaching the ends of my dreads because I've actually never done this before. I've had every other style but this. Almost another year goes by and I'm really, really starting to get tired of having dreads. So I cut about seven inches of my hair off again so I could get my hair back to my shoulder because it just feels better for my hair to be at shoulder length. A few months later, here we are today, and I'm simply just over it. I'm tired of having dreads, bruh. I've had dreads since I was 17 years old, with the exception of the one year that I cut my hair off and grew it right back. So I've had dreads for over 12 years. So yeah, we about ready to do this thing, man, but um, I ain't gonna do it right now, though, man, because my, my daughter's still home, though. She about to go with her mom in a little bit, and I'm gonna surprise her on Sunday with me with a fresh cut, because... She's known me with dreads her whole fucking life. She's never seen me outside of dreads. It's to the point where she'll see pictures of me when I was younger and I had a low cut. She like, Daddy, that's not you. So I'm going to wait till she leave to cut my hair. Then I'm going to go see my dog, Louis B, get a fresh cut. Then I'm going to surprise the shit out of her on Sunday. So i see y'all boys in a bit. One hour later. All right, man. So the mushkin is gone. It's time to get to it, bro. I can't believe I'm doing this shit, bro. It, it, it's time. It's time. It's time. I'm going to record this on my phone, too, because I'm going to put it on my IG story. I'm trying to get my IG followers up. All right, let me, get a, let me get a thumbnail real quick.
man, it feels so good to be able to just scratch my scalp completely again. And just, oh, God. Damn, that one thick as fuck. <laughs> Shit. That fat dread ass. That bit fat as hell. And it's gunk, it's got gunk in it too. I'm gonna have to, that bit look like a little afro. <laughs> that bit look like a little ass afro. Boy, look how thick this bitch is. This is dread thick as fuck. This might be the thickest one on my head. This the thickest one so far. Hell yeah, this bit thick as fuck. <laughs> Almost there. Last one, bro. Ah, look at the top of his head. The last one. I look a hot fucking mess. The last one, baby. Burn, burn, burn. Obviously, I'm gonna have to wash my hair because I got a lot of it's a lot of damn grease up here, a lot of fucking natural oils and gunk and shit. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm about to wash my hair. About to wash my hair, and a lot of this shit is uneven as hell. I ain't want to cut it all the way because I'm not going with the low cut just yet. Not going with the burn, room, burn, just burn, shit. Burn, it feels so good to be able to do this. Oh my god. I ain't been able to scratch my fucking head burn, like this burn, in years, burn, nigga. Woo. Anyway, I'm about to go wash my hair, man. I'll be right back. <sighs> I feel good, man. I feel good. I can't believe I just burn, did this burn, shit, burn, but I feel good. Now, obviously, I'm looking a hot fucking mess right now because I ain't got my hair cut yet. But it, it feels so good to just be able to do this again. My hair, but my hair long as hell in the back, though, bro. Like, my, my new girl in the back was hell long. So, obviously, obviously, I got to go get my hair cut and get it all evened out. I ain't going to go with a low cut just yet because there is one more hairstyle that I want to try out that's going to require me to have a little bit of long hair. But I just didn't want to keep looking raggedy while I was waiting on my hair to fucking grow. I was growing all the edges out for the new hairstyle I want to try, but I just I couldn't take it. I was tired of looking raggedy. I wasn't trying to look raggedy for months on end to start this new hairstyle, so I'm gonna just start it from scratch, grow my hair again. Then, um, yeah, after we, after we try a few more hairstyles, dog, it's gonna be low cut shawty for the rest of my life, pretty much. So wish me luck, and I'll see y'all boys after I get this haircut. So check this out, it's Tuesday, right? I actually recorded a video fresh from the barbershop on Saturday, but my dumb ass fucked around and muted myself so you couldn't hear nothing I was saying in the video. So unfortunately I can't use the clip fresh from the barbershop with the crispiest lineup in the world. But this is what we working with right here. You know what I'm saying? We got a little fro haul type of deal going out. I'm gonna grow it out a little bit more. I always wanted to try this hairstyle ever since 2K19 because I like that little style I had on my sharp shooting slashes. So that's what we going for. We're gonna have to grow this out a little more. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely digging it, bro. The look on my people's face was priceless. Especially my daughter. My baby mama mad at me, but I don't really give a damn. She'll get over it. She'll be alright. And I know it's a whole lot of females on Instagram gonna be mad at me too, but I mean, honestly, dog, I really don't care. I mean, 
y'all wasn't trying to give me no pussy when I had the dress. No way, so why the fuck should I care? <laughs> My daughter was legit mad at me for a few hours, bro, but eventually she got over it. Now she's steady rubbing my hair. She cannot keep her hands out of my head, bro. But that's it for the video, man. I hope y'all boys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. And we're going to get back on these dead vlogs, bro. I ain't touched the game in a couple of days because I've been working on this long-ass video. But we back at it, bro. We got some progress to report to you boys, man. But anyway, I'll see y'all boys in the next video. Peace. Couple bands may be took off in the socket. Ain't fucking chopper, I'ma hit him with a rocket. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Senorita, help me come up on the profit. But the devils and the demons try to stop it. Hey, you can hit me, but you love him how I rock it. Yeah. Do this nigga, no. Yeah, like you're sliding the nigga so you can go.